applause. <laughs> I'm actually going to be dancing in this video, thanks to the book. Oh, yeah. I'm with you, yeah. obviously, but I'm very happy because um, this, is like, this is like a fantasy of mine to actually do the big boy dancing that, that you yeah. do in your world. <laughs> so, And of course, I'm not kind of a better part of it. It's great. You. He has a beautiful woman to gyrate it with, and you know, like, well, let's stuff. leave Carson out of it. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, dancing is so hard. Dancing is think? exhausting. Oh. Can, I have have my... Can I have a cold compress? We need a masseuse immediately. <laughs> With that release. was fun. Let's do it again. Yeah. I love it. Fun, that was What's great. That? It was really fun to turn around and see, see what I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Did yeah. you see that before? I'm just oh busy looking at Nick. Hello. I know. I think the oh. camera guy is so hot. No. Hi, Red He's Cap. Hot. No, He's no, sizzling. He's... Yeah. He's crazy. Uh. Did people get red tip from his boyfriend? <laughs> Gorgeous. By the hour. <laughs> Basically, the idea is this is going to rip off and I'll start dancing with the club kids. I'm ready to go. It truly was an inspirational burst of energy to meet those guys and go, wow, they're just like they are on TV. They're just like that in person. Oh, we, we cast for months. We, it was Dave and I uh, from New York, uh, Boston, Chicago, L.A., Miami. Probably six or seven six or seven hundred seven hundred guys along the way. And and picking the five was a really, it was all about not only were they had to be experts in their own individual categories, but they also had to have a great individual personality yeah. that worked in the team. I think um, in the second season, the five of us are a little bit different because we've gotten to know each other a little bit more and we're, our bond is a little bit stronger. We're becoming a little bit more ourselves and becoming a little bit more comfortable with the roles that we're in. I'm really skinny and they want me to be in a tank top, so I'm a little nervous. He's fat as hell. He's fat as hell. <laughs> Just kidding. It's this. relentless. <laughs> he picks on me so hard. You have to remember that the, the, the show was happening. People didn't know what it was. There were times when we actually had trouble finding good enough straight guys to even produce the show. We had to hold it one month. Because it was like queer eye for No, I don't want to do that. So this time, we got a lot of really cool stories about guys who have these really interesting lives. And that was present first season, but even more so, that's been heightened this season. Not only that... I think we're a little funnier. No. <laughs> we could all do this. one sound yeah, bite. One you know, sound bite. I'll do, I'll, Tom, I told you not to take the bridge. Right. And then you could say, well, you could swim, and I'll be like, great, we're going to be out of season by the time we get there. Right. If we each say one thing, then it'll be nice and tight. Let's do it. Right. Talk about the reaction to the show. Look at what look at what we're doing today. We're shooting a music video with Wildlife. We have shut down the Brooklyn Bridge for our opening scene. We have this amazing, amazing director in the person of Wayne Isham. I mean, this is such an, a prestigious, talented group of people for us to be working with within such an enormous scale of production. It's so cool and exciting. All these dancers. I mean, what's next? Water ballet? That's like the only thing. We don't We don't have any elephants and we don't have any water ballet. That's about it. Guys, yeah, I think maybe we should put that down. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's great, guys. Okay. We just came up with that. Let's get everyone to lunch, guys. Let's get everyone to lunch. Take a break for a while. Okay. Get out of your suits. No knee on it. Spill on it. Okay. We're going to do some yoga. We're going to realign our karma. Yeah. We could do some power shopping. Oh, God. We could want to car? We could go on a little power shopping. What about Wayne Isham? Did you oh, love him? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a privilege. He's done uh, so many videos. He's he's also, cool. like, his Never. energy is so right on for this kind of... He never gets overwhelmed, and it's so crazy, so positive. And oh, I love your hair. hair. And his hair. Oh, my God. Oh, my he's the best Viking director ever. He's like ever. a Viking warrior. <laughs> yeah. When we first got this gig coming out, it was like, oh, my God, we're going to be wearing the Fat Five. My hair was four and a half. I was five inches longer. I cut my hair. And then I go, well, it's still not enough. There's someone that's going to cut my hair. I was afraid at any moment they were to wrestle me down and shave my head. <laughs> it's going to point where I need that. But one of the fun things about, about doing the show is that we've had chances to meet celebrities that we will always have admired. I was at this uh, celebrity poker tournament thing and Ben Affleck was playing poker and I got to sit next to Jennifer Lopez, which was awesome because Jayla was so sweet and so kind and actually I was sort of nervous so when she walked in I didn't look at her and then um, I kind of turned and caught her eye and she was like, oh, oh, I love your show. At the, at the VMAs we met a lot of we met a lot of um, you know performers that we just you know that, that were amazing. Got to see Duran Duran perform uh, last weekend actually, and got to hang out with them after the show for a while. So for me it was like the fulfillment of a teenage dream to hang out with John Taylor, who I had a huge crush on. One of the things that was fun about meeting the musicians at that event was that meeting the little hip hop like the metal hip hop kids who were all this tall, yeah. with studs and stuff. Oh yeah, I felt like I was 98. That was the, weird, <laughs> that was the other part. Yeah. I 
remember you from your last life. You were very good. <laughs> and this is Kim. Hi, Hi Kim. Nice to meet you. Carson, nice to meet you. Who you're with in this wow. Foxy. Is this Sheared Beaver? <laughs> it's Dyed Fox. This, now, is he part of the dance number? Yeah. Where does he fit in? Is He's he going to be behind the reception counter in the beauty salon. Emporium. Or barber shop. I call it a beauty emporium. Beauty emporium. Right. So he's sort of a stunt chihuahua? <laughs> We just get him off the caffeine, he'd stop shaking. Yeah, Here. definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a good kisser. <laughs> it tastes like Mighty Dog. Delicious. Makeup. Your dog ate my lip gloss yeah. off. Here we are. At Fez. The fabulous nightclub Fez, where we're going to be um, lighting things on fire, cooking, redecorating. All in a day's work. Oh, Here we go, man. Can we talk about video fashion? I mean, how about Madonna, okay? I was in the seventh grade, material girl, living in a material... No, that's Vogue, I'm sorry. A material girl with that red satin dress and the white gloves and all the diamonds. Yeah, that got me. You got me with that one, Madge. And then, oh, how about Gwen Stefani? Now, she's got some style. Have you seen the latest video? Remake of that old song? I love it. I love it. That hair. I'm trying to do it myself. You know, we have the same colorist. Okay, that is that is that is much too bright. Ah. We've been here since 2:45 a.m. It's now 5:30 p.m. Okay, I'll put it straight, guys.